Hi, I'm sex and relationship coach Caitlin V, and today I'm going to ask, does penis size matter? Okay, so the truth is that penis size does matter, but you know what else matters? Taking a shower, uh, how you speak to a woman, how you uh, approach, how you use your tongue, uh, how you do cuddle afterward, what's your post sex routine, like a lot of stuff matters when it comes to sex, okay? Men think that penis size matters way more than most women ever think so. And that makes sense because most of you are comparing yourself to porn stars. And when you compare an average size penis to the average size penis in porn, well, there's no real comparison, right? I mean, anyone's going to think that they're small when they're comparing themselves to some of the most like gargantuan penises known to man, okay? So stop comparing yourself to porn stars and start working with what you've got. Because when you ask yourself the question, does penis size matter, what you're actually asking is, how can I be a great lover for women, right? I mean, how do women respond to me and my particular penis? How can I use what I've got to make the best and, and to give myself the greatest advantage in the sack? Like, that's the core of the question, right? So let's answer that question. And let's answer the question of, what do I do if I have a smaller than average penis? Great, so the truth is that large penises are not automatically better, okay? If you have a large penis, you're going to potentially cause more harm than good. You're gonna have to do a ton of foreplay, really get women warmed up. I mean, it's way more advantageous to have an average size penis. In fact, when they study women's penis size preferences, they find that women would uh, choose, when given a variety of different sizes to choose from, they normally choose something that's just around average. So actually, if you're rocking an average size penis, you are what most women would prefer. So the truth is, no matter what size you are rocking, you can be an amazing lover. I'm gonna teach you a couple techniques that we'll use no matter how big or small your penis is. But this, these techniques are specifically focused on men that are rocking a slightly smaller than average penis. So it's not really about how much your size matters, but how are you making the most with what you've got. And all of these techniques work because they target the first two inches of the vaginal canal, which is where almost all of the nerve endings that are inside of a woman are located. And the rest of the nerve endings are outside, right? They're all in the clit and the labia and the area of the vulva, right? That's actually the most nerve sensitive, stimulation rich area of a woman's body. And so actually the first step to any of this is to use your hands and your mouth on the outside of her body and on the first two inches of the vaginal canal because that's where almost all of the nerve stimulation is. Now, all men should get good at using their hands and mouth and not relying on their penis, but if you're worried that you have a smaller than average penis, making up for that difference by being awesome at oral sex, awesome at manual stimulation, that's gonna make you an incredible lover. Remember that most women don't orgasm through vaginal penetration. Some studies suggest that it's as low as 30% of women report regularly being able to reach orgasm through penis and vagina sex. So, that's already a super low number. You already need to be able to use your hands and mouth and to get creative in order to give her an orgasm. So this is a great step one. Step two is to utilize sex positions that allow her to keep her legs together. So the closer that her legs, her thighs are together, the more friction and the more stimulation that she will feel on those first two inches of her vaginal canal. So positions like a woman laying down on her stomach with her legs together and you entering her from behind, or a position where she throws both legs over one of your shoulders and kind of lays down on her back with her legs back over this way. Uh, those are gonna be the positions that allow you to create the most sensation and the most friction. Um, if you're with a woman who's particularly wet, if she produces a lot of fluids, then one technique that you can do is to use a soft cloth or a towel and gently wipe away some of the liquid, some of the fluids on the outside of her vulva. By decreasing the amount of liquid, not so much that she's dry, but enough that you introduce more friction, you'll actually create more stimulation. Also, get really clear on when you can let her take the reins. So most men think that it's their pumping that is what creates a really pleasurable sensation for women. It's like the thrust or the pump that you are actually uh, doing with your own body and your own hips. 
The truth is that studies show that when women are totally in charge of the thrust, the speed, the depth, the position of penetrative sex, they reach orgasm more often. So this is super great news. Like the truth is that the onus of her reaching orgasm through penetrative sex is not entirely on you and your motion and your ability to thrust hard and fast and deep. Actually, you hand control over to her, give her the reins to her own pleasure and let her ride you or experience you and get herself off using you as the tool to reach orgasm. So utilize these tips together. Focus on the first two inches of her, of her vulva and on the outside using your hands and mouth. That's where the majority of the nerve endings are anyway. Second, use techniques that increase friction, like keeping her legs together or slightly drying her off when she gets really wet. Third, let her take control. Let, give her the reins so that she can control how hard and deep and fast that you're actually having sex, and she's more likely to reach orgasm to begin with. And after all of that, if she wants to still have even more stimulation, encourage her to do Kegel exercises or pelvic floor strengthening exercises that will allow her to actually squeeze down harder on you while you're inside of her. This will give her more stimulation and it will also get, give her the best chance of actually reaching orgasm during penetrative sex. So, this is Coach Caitlin B. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any other techniques that you use or any other questions that you have about penis size. And women, if you're watching this video, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Does penis size matter to you? And while you're doing that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you'll never miss another tip on how to create the most amazing sex life. Because remember, better sex equals a better life.